Hey everybody, it's Jameson again, and this video is a response to Mega Tim Ho's contest where he is asking to see everybody's hobby space and for people to provide a tip on how to set up his new hobby space. So there's mine. Uh, you've seen this before in earlier vids. In fact, not too long back, I made a pretty lengthy video detailing everything in the room. But I'll just do a, a quick run through for this video. So I have this big L shaped desk with the monitor in the corner. At this end is what I call the uh, assembly slash painting, uh, uh, sculpting area, assembly and sculpting. Uh, right now there's nothing going on, it's kind of a holding area for some stuff. But I have all my uh, sculpting and assembly tools in there and lots of clay for playing around with clay and whatnot. Above that is a area full of glue uh, and then all sorts of different uh, weathering pigments from uh, MIG and uh, washes from MIG and then up above we have more weathering pigments from Secret Weapon, Baleo, Forge World and then lots of basing materials from various companies, Secret Weapon, Games Workshop, Army Painter, Gale Force 9, lots of stuff like that. Uh, we got the computer, the monitor, the laptop, uh, a bunch of boxes I shoved into there for storage purposes. Uh, this section of the desk is the painting area. This is where I paint. So I usually have a lot of light pointed in that direction. I got my wet palette. Uh, I usually often tend to put off to the side paints that I'm currently using so I don't have to keep digging for them. And then of course I got several shelves of paints with different paint lines. Uh, Reaper, Vallejo, Tamiya, P3, Citadel, whatnot. Up here some spray cans, all Army Painter color primers. Uh, some more various paints, more Army Painter, Vallejo, and uh, Reaper stuff. This is all washes over here, secret weapon washes, Vallejo, different things, and uh, odds and ends. And then up above is uh, little shelves full of uh, spray cans, and then uh, like Illiquitex uh, artist paint, and uh, and then at the very top, ringing the whole area is cram full of boxes that make up my stash and most of these boxes are packed full some of them there's a couple over here in this area that I have multiples of like there's two sixth edition starter sets one's just full of empty sprue same with this third third edition Warhammer 40k one's just got empty sprues that I've already cut out and I'm saving the sprues for various things but most of these are full and then of course bookcases storage area uh, the wall of minis over here uh, back over here is my stash for car models and bookcases with uh, gaming books and whatnot and one of the most important things in here is this the refrigerator where I can keep my sodas and uh, that's about it for this area. Now, if I was going to offer a tip, I'd have two tips. And they seem to work for me. One tip, have beverages nearby. Whether that's hot beverages or cold beverages, have something nearby that you can grab to, to sip or to drink. Whether it's just water, tea, coffee, soda, beer, whatever. Have something nearby to help keep you going. Uh, another thing that uh, that I like to use is the uh, idea of separate stations. I've got this uh, large desk, so I got a station there for the assembly, sculpting, and then over here is where I do my painting. And technically, I could make a third station here. That's usually just where I uh, store stuff that I'm working on. But the idea of having s a separate stations kind of helps me uh, focus more. On what different stages things are in you know I can have some goblins in the assembly area 
and then some were in the prime, getting getting primed, and some might be being painted. And if I get too bored with one, then I can easily just switch from one to the other. And it also helps that I got a couple chairs that I can just jump back and forth in. So that's the, uh, whoa, almost backed into a dog here. Sorry, Sandy. That's my hobby area, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.